Well, we got an active CEL here on the Ford Flex. See if we can't get to the bottom of this. All right, we're gonna use the uh, X-Tool D7. Try to uh, figure out the CEL. So we're gonna go into auto scan mode. Uh, we're gonna choose Ford. We're gonna accept that it found our VIN. And we're gonna ask for an automatic scan of the whole system. And this will take a minute or so to run. Uh, it's basically going through all the control points on the car and uh, seeing what reports back. And I do see that as it passed by the, uh, the power control module up top, it, I did see a failure there up top. So we'll let this finish scanning the rest of the vehicle. Pull up the DTC report and see what that failure was. Of the DTC report, and there we have it P0456. Uh, very small leak on the EVAP system. <coughs> now, EVAPs can have uh, small leaks or major leaks. Uh, when we see a small leak, uh, often it's as simple as a gas cap. So, we're gonna go take a look see if we can figure out uh, what's causing us this trouble on these Fords uh, with the easy fuel outlet uh, these things can be notorious for that type of minor leak so we come in here we, we check the integrity of this seal clean this up nice make sure it's closing well on uh, on the vent here we come in and we hit all that with WD-40 and, and a rag. And um, you just, you wanna, you wanna work with that operator. Make sure there's nothing in there that's sticking that up or gumming that up. Never stick anything into this easy fuel spout try to pry it open with anything other than the designed Ford funnel or tool um, but but you want to work all that and and just try to make sure that 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 closure there is not your issue now in this case we did all that we closed it up we cleared the CEL <clears throat> let the car be driven a few more days and the CEL came back so it's not as simple as cleaning that. So the next step you can do with these Fords is throw a traditional gas cap in there to uh, add a measure of sealing. And we did that. Uh, and that also, the, the, we, we cleared the CEL, let the car be driven a few days with the, with the gas cap on and the CEL came back. So uh, we've determined that our minor leak is not at the fuel door itself. With our fuel door ruled out, we're coming to the next most likely suspect. And uh, that is this purge valve, canister purge valve on the EVAP system. So with my thumb, I'm just gonna press the tab down so I can pull out the wiring harness. Uh, off camera, I already used this pick tool to open up the uh the quick connect so now that removes and what we're going to do is we're, we're going to start the engine and with zero power because this is unplugged this has no electrical power now with zero power now this valve should default to a closed position and what that should mean is that there's no airflow on this hose if we get any suction airflow suction on this hose this valve is faulty. So we're gonna test for that next. Now I don't know if you can hear that over the engine noise. So 
So I don't know if you guys could hear any of that with the engine running uh, here, but uh, there was clear suction against the skin of my thumb. And when I would pull my thumb back, you could hear that, that pop like you're releasing a suction cup uh, from something. So definite vacuum on a closed, what should have been closed valve, uh, indicating that it's not actually closed. So that valve's bad. Um, we're gonna replace that. Okay, we've loosened a couple of bolts and popped our old valve out of there. This is our new valve. Cost us uh, 25 bucks off Amazon. And we're going to press that into place. Now I'm gonna replace those bolts, tighten that down, put my suction line and my electrical connection back on. Okay, quick retest. No suction, no suction at all. Okay, we still have the active CEL, right? Uh, but each time we take a step, like cleaning the fuel door or adding the gas cap, uh, each time we take one of those steps, we clear the CEL from the system uh, and then wait to see if it returns. So uh, since we've just taken this step of um, changing out the uh, canister purge valve, we now want to come in here, system selection, power control, and we are going to clear the trouble codes. And back that up, back that up. Let's do a scan. <clears throat> Make sure everything's normal. really like this X-Tool D7, by the way. Um, it's, it's fast for what it's doing, uh, which is a very thorough run through all of the systems on the car, bumper to bumper, giving us full diagnostics. And now we are normal, no DTCs across the system. Uh, earlier, you know, we did have the, the, the failure up here. And so, restart the vehicle. Our CEL is gone. Um, so we will do a drive, um, put the car in service for several days or a week, see if that CEL comes back. It did come back on the gas caps. Those turned out not to be the cause, but I have high confidence uh, on the purge valve. We saw the suction there on the old valve. That suction should not have been there in a, in a normally closed valve uh, with power removed. Uh, we installed the new valve. We can see the new valve had no suction. So uh, I am 99.999% confident that we found our leak right there. And that will be the end of these CELs. Um, if something new does pop up, I will uh, come back and augment this video. Here are the shop manual instructions for how to remove and replace that purge valve for anyone who needs it. But as you saw live, it's it's a pretty simple move. But uh, yeah, we use some basic troubleshooting steps to identify the minor leak, uh, test the first most likely suspect, which is that easy fuel Ford system, and then test the second most likely subject, which are these valves that are kind of prone to failure and can be quickly tested with a finger. Uh, we save probably $75 to $125 of diagnostic fees, and we saved anywhere from $150 to $300, depending on how ethical uh, your shop is on the valve replacement. Uh, so all in all, um, very few minutes worth of work for a pretty good savings by doing it yourself. And I hope maybe this helps you uh, identify and 
solve a similar code problem if you run into it on your vehicle. Good luck.